Hey folks, it's Jim. Going to do a video. Uh, this is like D-Day for me, September 1st. Uh, we've got an election year. We've got several dynamics going on in economics. And I think over the next two to five years is going to be the most dynamic period in your life and mine to double, triple, or even greater increase your net wealth or net worth. Okay. Uh, let me open with the disclaimer. This video is not economics advice, financial advice, or advice of any kind. You and you alone are responsible to seek out the professional advice that is right for you with regards to all the affairs of your life. This video is for entertainment purposes only. These are my disclaimers. Okay, first thing I want to cover is cyclical economics between the three sectors of economics. Gold, silver, precious metals, things of that nature. Industry, okay, cat. we'll put cash in there too. Um, industry, okay. The, you know, uh, corporations, all that stuff, right? Then we have real estate, don't we? Okay, and we've all seen the crash of 08 and then real estate rebound, hasn't it? We saw gold and silver uh, back in 2011. It was at $2,000, then it went to $1,032 an ounce where I started accumulating. Okay, so we see cycles, don't we? We just saw sil silver take off to uh, what it's at today. Um, you know what I mean? From where it was sitting around 14 to 16 for the longest time, now it's up around 27 to 29 dollars an ounce, isn't it? So we see cyclical economics in action all the time. It's just things are cycling at different times, and people aren't paying attention to one sector while another sector is moving because they're stressed out about the move in one sector. Okay, there's other distractions going on, such as elections, uh, BLM, uh, many other things that are distracting you right before. The most dynamic opportunity in our financial lives is about to take place. The first salvo is about to kick off. Okay? So don't be aware of that. There's a lot of distractions in this world. 30 minutes a day will generally lead you to freedom. If everybody's going one way and 95 out of 100 don't succeed, maybe I want to be a contrarian quite often and be the five that heads the other way. If 95 out of 100 do not succeed, and this is the same since 1901 until now, so don't blame a certain period in history. It's the mind that is the problem, our mental makeup. Right now, a lot of preppers are panicking. They're uh, making bad financial decisions. I'll get into that on another video. And they're about ready to run into the hills, bury their sand. And just like in 08, people ran into the hills, bought a homestead, buried their head in the sand, only two years later to come out and file bankruptcy. Okay, and then other people went in and bought that stuff at 50 cents on the dollar. Don't be that way. If everybody's doing something, you need to stop and take a serious evaluation because 95 out of 100 do not succeed monetarily in this world. Do you understand? So if everybody else is doing something, you might not want to. You might want to be the five that are contrarian on a few things, okay? And that's a signal for me to get out of a sector, by the way. If everybody else is running into it, eh, it tells me it's time to get out, okay? And as you know, I sold my SLV at 25 and a half. I don't care if it goes to 35 or not. I'm taking my money off the board because I know what's coming between now and the elections. Market correction is going to trigger and start this whole cycle. I believe the dollar's going higher. I believe uh, the Fed could uh, do something and really shock the world, okay? I mean, a lot of things can take place, uh, people. And remember, who owns the Fed? Seven people gathered in a room <coughs> in 1913, and they controlled 28% of the global wealth. Well, now they control th uh, 30 to 32% of global wealth at any one time. They control the world. You're living in a matrix. Federal Reserve, Central Banks, IMF. They're just tools of the elite. So you got to know what the game is. And you got to know that 95 out of 100 don't succeed. And if that's the case, huh, maybe I should be a contrarian from time to time. And certainly never panic, never run on fear, and never make decisions when you're emotional. Okay? Because, you know, people, the stock market crashes, people sell out at the bottom because they're emotional. If they would have just waited until now, they would have got all their money back and doubled it since then. Correct? Not only would all their money came back, they would have doubled it, just hanging on. Okay, same thing with the housing market. When it crashed, boom, if they would have held on, 
They would have got all their money back, wouldn't they? And then some, right? Okay, so when everybody else is doing something, you might want to go the other way or at least seriously evaluate what everybody else is doing, okay? Since 95 out of 100 do not succeed. Five out of a hundred succeed. And this is why our school systems, uh, you know, educate our children not to succeed, basically. If they were about teaching our children to succeed, this book would be on the curriculum of every high school student before they depart into their new world of freedom. Okay, but it's not, is it? Neither is Earl Nightingale's uh, The Strangest Secret, which I hope you're watching today before you go to bed. Okay, but today is D-Day. We are beginning a new economic paradigm of cyclical sector economics that the global elite have been playing since Rome. They control everything. You need to be jack be nimble, jack be quick. You'll probably double or triple your net worth by 2023 if you remain calm and not live in fear. Okay? And nothing is going to infinity and beyond. Okay? If gold and silver were ever going to go to infinity and beyond, who do you think would own it? You're right, the global elites and you and I wouldn't be able to get to it. All right? Will it go up? Yes, I believe gold and silver is going up long term. But there could be a hiccup short term. Okay? War, what does war do? It stimulates economy. U.S. savings rates 30%, ready to explode after the elections. Immunization coming online, fear of COVID over. You see what I mean, how the economies could explode forward? Does that bode well for gold? Probably not. I'm not telling you to sell your gold. I'm not telling you to do anything. I'm just telling you what my forecasts are showing me. They might be the opposite of what everybody else is thinking. And generally, it's done really well for me to think this way. Okay, relax. Remain calm. Don't get emo If you find yourself emotionally charged around finance, you need to take time out. Relax. Remember it's a game. Remember my, my talk on SLV. It's a game. I'm not attached. It's just a game. Relax. Learn the game. Play the game. Win the game. Be the five, not the 95. Okay? Remember, there's a lot of distractions out there. Do not be emotionally charged during this time. Remain calm. Remain focused. Relax. It only takes 30 minutes a day to go over your portfolio and study the global economic landscape to help you make decisions before it's too late. Okay? Today is D-Day, and between now and, uh, and the elections, there's probably going to be a market correction that's going to be the signal it has begun. If a war breaks out in the South China Sea, definite signal it's all begun, right? That completely throw a twist in all of economics. The nations, all that are defaulting on Chinese debt, that could be running home to the dollar, push it higher. The exact opposite of what most people are telling you out there on prepper channels, isn't it? There's a lot of different things. What's the Strategic Reserve Bank doing? Well, hell, I don't know. But, you know what? None of us know. Because we're not privy to that. Okay? It's in the best interest of national security. That's what that bank does. Okay? And it's how the Fed can make moves without breaking the Fed bylaws. And buy things like oil. If there's a shot fired, you know, I bought three oil uh, plays in the March when the stock market went down in March. All three of them, one's giving me 50% return, one's giving me 100% return, the other one's 150% positive. All of them are paying me 10% dividend yields right now in a time of extremely low interest rates. So not only is it gained capital, but it's also paying me cash flow. All right? So... That's part of the reason why I'm out of gold and silver short term. There's just going to be a lot of places I can make more money. In 2021, real estate's probably going down. You can see all that headwind coming, can't you? I mean, we don't know what's going to go on, but we can react when it does. If we're aware, if we're paying attention, if we're emotionally detached and our head is in the game. Remain calm always. Fear and worry and panic only rob you. Relax. We're going to go through it no matter what. So you might as well do it relaxed and make some money. Pay attention, okay? Uh, read uh, Think and Grow Rich, if you can, Napoleon Hill. Uh, it's not about money. It's about your mind and how you think. Earl Nightingale's The Strangest Secret. 
You know what I mean? All of this should be taught in our schools. This is how we could arm our children. And this is how everybody could prosper or begin to. Okay? So, let's be the five. Right? Let's be contrarian at times, especially if you're proper right now. Don't be panicking. You need to relax. It's all distractions. Because if you're not prepared when it goes down, who makes all the money? The global elite like they always do. But five out of a hundred can get in the game, right? Not be distracted. Get in the game. Do what's best for you. Work towards your freedom. Not towards wealth and riches. Work towards prosperity, freedom, right? Money is just a tool. Wealth is just a tool to help us attain goals and to be free enough to do what we wish, right? So don't get emotional. Don't get stressed. Do not panic. Relax. Go through it, right? And you might just find there's a whole lot of money to be made between now and 2025, okay? Hope you're all doing well. Hope life's treating you good. Don't get into the distractions, you know. Don't be emotionally charged. We got a lot going on. BLM, the elections, you know. I, that's why I don't spend my time arguing about politics. What a waste of life that is. Oh my lord. It's all a deception. Anyway, you're living in an economic matrix. And most of those people up there in uh, Congress and Senate are sold out to the matrix anyway, because half of them are uh, told what to do because they've got pictures of them doing things they shouldn't be doing, right? They got dirt on them. So anyway, know it's all a game, folks. You're living in the matrix. Learn how to beat it and just be free, man, because that's truly the only peace we're ever going to get, learning how to just be free. Jim out.